go. Hello, this is CB Ultra 768, and we are here to play Call of Duty 3. And the reason I wanted to play this is I recently uh, found my old PlayStation 2 and decided I wanted to start playing some PS2 games. And since the most modern, most uh, recent Call of Duty game, Modern Warfare, came out, I figured this would be a perfect time to play Call of Duty 3, which, to tell you the truth, is actually my first ever Call of Duty I've actually ever played. So, without further ado, uh, for this, I've already played through the first level just to see how it feels. So, without further ado, let's just jump June 4th, in. 1940. Nazi forces entered Paris. But yeah, I do remember having some fond memories with this game. Like, this may sound ridiculous, but when I was little, I always thought, like, man, this makes me feel like I'm actually in World War II. And, but, I mean, I still knew it was like, ah, oh, but still, like, war. I felt like I was more like in a war movie than, like, the modern Call of Duties, where it's like more like an action film than like a war film. That's that's how I felt. And this was the good old days when it's just games made where it's like you just go around shooting Nazis. So let's get to it. Like, I'll tell you the truth, I don't really remember a whole lot in this game. Uh, playing the first level, I did get reminded of some of the characters. I don't remember their names. But, uh, I remember the there were, like, two characters in this series who would always argue because one wanted to run away, the other was, like, so American that he threatened to shoot him if he You're ran. Missed. Hello. It's my first day. Sorry, shoot my Let's see you do better, Huxley. But to tell you the truth, when I was playing this, it felt you, weird, because it's like, oh mean, my uh, god. Nichols, right? Like, this is what Come we used up. to think was, like, the next-gen graphics. But now, like, look at games that we got today, like, the new Call of Duty, Spider-Man, and all sorts of other games that are coming out, too. It's crazy. There you go. All right. Four helmets in a row, you win five bucks. Okay. So you hit one. What do you want? A promotion? Yes. Right on the button. Thank you. There we go. Hey, Mandelbaum, I owe you an apology. The worst shot in the entire world is Nichols. What do you mean? I hit four in a row. Where's my five bucks, asshole? I hit four in a row. Or was I supposed to do it fast? Whatever. Did you see that? No. <laughs> yes, I did. I'll say, what's his name? Huxley. I do remember him a lot, Huxley. He's kind of like the loudmouth and smartass of the group. You can get one in that old barn. You want to try cooking one off? Yeah, I got it. I still don't know. Do uh, do grenades in the new Call of Duty still require a cook? Cause I kind of like this grenade where it's like you have a timer, like oh, and you can actually time it for. How long until you want to throw it? Which I really like. Nichols. Amazed they haven't brought Come that on, back. Let's see you use a smoke grenade. All right. Oh, I didn't pick it up. I was like, let me use it. <laughs> I thought I picked up both at once. Nice there we one, go. Damn, Dixon's looking right at us. Well, all right, Nichols, you're all ready for Jerry. Hey, Dix, this one's a born natural. Well, that all right. sure showed him. Guys, there's Nazis wearing helmets too. Hey, Dixon. Where do you say we go find them? Gather up weapons and ammo and get on that truck. Tell you the truth, I've never played the first or second Call of Duty, so I have no idea what the other games are like. And, like, I don't know if they're like a continuous story from this one, so. Dixon, grab the Thompson from that crate in the supply tent. You're gonna need it where we're going. Okay, you so. You may have to bash the crate open with your rifle. The supply sergeant likes to nail everything shut. Even though clearly this crate is not nailed shut, unless did he nail it diagonally? It open, it if he did, right. he did a Just terrible like job. There we go. All right, let's go. All right, everyone on the truck, let's go. Roger. And again, I remember this scene. It's a pretty cool scene where you're like getting in the truck, getting ready to go fight some Germans. 
for the first time. I'm assuming first time. I'm McCullen. Hey, McCullen. Rule one. You're no good to me dead. Rule two. Uh, what difference does it make? You'll all probably end up dead anyway. Oh, that lowered my well, self-esteem, sir. Sure you want inspiration, yeah. Huxley? Read a poem. Sarge is ten times the soldier you'll ever be. Yeah, and again, it's so okay, crazy hearing up. some of these voices. Today, I feel I've heard his voice before. I don't have no idea who the voice actor is. is I'll probably throw up something up right now. That's who he is. So now, and I'll know more about him now. Or we could just stay back in the base and eat those guys French rolls they got. We'll be providing ground support for Task Force C. We're coming in from the west flank. And guys, remember rule number one. Yeah, and honestly, for a PS2 game, it's not bad. Oh, man. I love that smell. It smells like... Like, uh, the graphics remind me of the game I most recently played, uh, Red Dead... Red Dead. The Germans are this far out? I thought we had this area. It's been like this for weeks. Hey, wait up! You got uh, to do I do find this... Like, sees brutal. Like, this guy is just trying to catch up with his unit. He gets so close, and then boom! Dead. Like, wow. Like, that's brutal. Oh, 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 oh god. Oh. And that's something I always love to do with the camera in these kind of games. Just move it around and act like, oh, I'm in this situation. I always enjoy that. Alright, get me out of here. I want to go home, Sarge! I mean, Captain, please, I want to go home! Oh, God! <laughs> I'm not ready for this, yo! I can't do it! What unit are you in, Private? Who's him? Private First Class, Third Squad. I see you wanted back in Martinville. Oh. Alright, you're with us. Man, do just a spit. Yeah, these two. These two hate each other, I remember. Which we'll see later on in this level. I love this shot of my guy, Nichols, just like, oh shit, what am I jumping into? Oh. Uh, I will admit, it's a bit. Oh god, uh, uh, uh. hard to see. Uh, excuse me. Uh, what I find weird is I can reload my Thompson, but my other gun I'm not allowed to for some reason. Love doing that with this gun, just back, back, back. One shot seems to take him out, though. I will admit, it is kind of hard to see him. Because of how fuzzy the graphics are. I don't know if I just killed one of my own guys. If I did, I am sorry. Where are you? Got you. We're moving up! Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Go, go, go. This are close encounters. Oh god. Come on, let's go. Go then. Take a dirt now. Uh, 
god. Uh, go, 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 run! Uh, Yeah, I can't reload this thing. You can only reload out the Thompson. Ah, melee him, Sarge. Get him. Just punch him. Punch him. Oh, God. I can't sleep. Oh, God, run. Roger. And now here comes our first. Yep. I kind of like these scenes where it's like, ah, oh, you get a hand-to-hand -hand fight. Though, I do question this scene. Why the hell are the others not helping me? Hey, guys, I could use some help. I'm getting attacked by an ow, a German here. Help me. Help me. Guys. Guys. I'm in the other room. You bastards. Come help me. God dang it. Just die. I love I don't even take his gun. He's like, ugh. German gun, I don't need that. German son of a bitch. How did, so did you just did you guys just slip on by while I'm struggling with them? Thanks guys. Assholes. Could've helped me. Why me? You're a radio aren't you? I'm not asking Guzo. McCollin and Guzo. Yeah, McCollin and Guzo hate each other. Alright, I'm coming. Alright, right, working on it. Left corner building, 70 meters, German squad, second floor. I love how, I love how slow this thing moves. Target destroyed. Crowd machine gun, 75 meters, top floor. Three story house on the right. Got you. Working on it. You got him! You crazy? I'm not wasting ammo! What do you mean? There's a guy right here. Tell me! 60 meters, right corner building, ground floor! I would say, what the hell are you talking about, Guzo? I'm, I was like shooting at him. <laughs> you got him! Yeah, I know. The intersection looks clear. Move up and we'll keep an eye out! That guy. Come on. Keep on the fire. Again, I really don't remember what the rest of the missions will be like, so it'll be fun coming back to this game to see what's gonna happen. Need another round on that target. Nice shot. They ain't getting up. There's more ahead. Move up. All right, we're moving. I went down, Guzo. Well, I mean, I don't blame him for shouting, actually. It'd be hard to hear anything with all the explosions going off. Oh, boy. Walking, got it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. This is just kind of exciting. I know it's like Welcome slow and monotonous, ahead. but still. Task is I mean, I guess I shouldn't call it monotonous. I mean, it's just, it's kind of slow moving, like this whole section right here. But I mean, I still like it. But again, like probably in a real battle, you wouldn't rush to get to the battle. You do want to take your time to make sure your shot counts, because every shot counts. It's about to blow. <laughs> It's just suddenly combusted for some reason. Okay, time to go. There! Get to that cafe! I'm here. Oh, here we go. Here's a major scene with uh, McCollin and Guzo. Yeah. A few minutes, this place will be down around our ears! Oh, fancy seeing you here, Sarge. Don't huh. Can't stay here! Wait. God damn it. Everybody. Sound off! Ah, oh, 
through that. We have to fall back. Oh, that's it. I'm falling back. Yeah. Frank, Nate, pull the gun. Frank, put the gun down. Let's just all calm down here. I like Huxley's over there. You're not trying to figure a way out of here while everybody argues here. Shooting you won't be crazy. You'll be the safest thing I've ever done. Frank, come on now. Come on! We got ourselves a tunnel here! Nice work, Huxley. Yeah, I like Huxley. Alright, we're plugging out. Woo! We'll continue this later. Nick, <laughs> let's go. Roger. Alright, let's see if I can do this again. Nice work, nice shot. I got one of them. Oh god. I know I can grab it, but still. There we go. Oh god, Germans. That's all there is, Germans. Uh, excuse me. Back it up. Alright, let me through. I'm almost out of ammo on this thing. There's one. Oh god. Alright. One, two, three, four. Go, go, go. I'm sure nothing bad will happen now. Oh, God! <laughs> no shit. Oh. I just realized what you said. I thought you said under attack! No, he said counter attack. Okay, that makes sense. Yes, it is a counter attack. Ow. Smoke. Cover us. Hold the stairs. I'll guard the stairs, guys. You handle that. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm ready for you. Come on, I know you're gonna come down here. I'm not going down there. I'll throw one down there. I'll say we might have to. God. Are there any coming up? Oh, there's one. Right. I knew they were coming up the stairs. Hello. There we go. Oh my god. Oh 
The way I'm going to do this, uh, we're just basically going to do, so like whenever it does this, like the mission's over, we're going to watch the cutscene and then we're going to call it apart. So we're going to call it apart real soon after this cutscene. And again, so far, uh, this is only the first level. I have no idea what co what's going to happen next, so I can't wait to see what happens. Work to cut it. As decisive as normal. And again, I love these cutscenes. It's not like an action movie. It's like it feels like you're in a war film. And I really like that concept. They kind of drop it once they went into modern warfare. The German controlled territory in the middle comes to be known as the Fuller's Gap. Whoa. The Gap sees some of the most ferocious fighting of the last. Great war. Guy sticks a gun in my face. Uh, I think that's enough to buy me a train. One hour later. Have you thought about writing your congressman? That's very freaking funny. Gear up. Huh. We're going to Saint Germain. The 90th is short handed, so we're getting folded into their units. Some of these graphics, though, I wonder, did they take cutscenes from the uh, Xbox? Looks like you transferred I think they probably did. Through. They basically, like, uh, Spider Man 3'd it. Where they, some of the cutscenes would be PS2, or no, not PS2. They'd be from the Wii, but also they take some from the Xbox game. Alright, so, anyway. So tell me you wouldn't rather be with those guys. Pause. They got the easy cut. So, we're gonna call it part here, and next time we will start the next mission known as the island. So, stay tuned for that. Mmm, bye bye. Pretty fun first level, though.